Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to set up the example project we have seen in the first video and download the Spring Framework into our project. First of all, to download the source code, you can go to the link shown on the screen. You can also find it in the description section below. The project is hosted on GitHub. Once you click on that link, you will be navigated to the GitHub page. And from there, you can either clone the project using Git version control or download the project by clicking on this download zip button. Once you have downloaded the project, you can open your IDE. I will be using IntelliJ IDEA as my primary IDE. You can of course use any IDE you like or comfortable with. You can download the IntelliJ Community Edition which is free of cost. I will provide the links for the IDE in the description section. Once you have downloaded the and installed the IDE, when you double click on the IntelliJ icon, you will get this welcome screen. Uh, there you can click on open and browse to the folder where you have downloaded the project. And make sure you select the file pom.xml inside the project and click on OK. Then you will see a dialog box asking you whether to open this project or open the file. Click on open as project. After that, the first thing you have to do is to tell IntelliJ where it can find the JDK installed on this machine. To do that, you can go to file, project structure and make sure to select the JDK under the project SDK section and click on OK. Now let's open the project and uh, here if we expand the folders, you can see that we have different folders called as source, main, java and deep inside these folders we have our example classes we have seen in the last video. I will explain also why we are using this folder structure shortly but for now to run the project you can open the email application class which contains the main method. And to the left side of this main method, you can see a green arrow, click on that arrow button and then click on run. So this should first build our application. That means it compiles our Java classes and then runs the main method. And now you can see the logs where it says checks spelling, checking spelling using basic spell checker and spell check is completed. Now let's change the basic spell checker class to the advanced spell checker class inside our main method and run the class again. Now the log says checking spelling using advanced spell checker. So it looks like our project is working fine. Now it's time to add Spring Framework to this project. Let's do that. Now to download Spring into the project, you will be using a tool called as Maven. Maven is a project management tool or a build management tool. Using this uh, tool, you can compile your source code, run tests which are inside your source code and create jar files from the source code. It also helps us to manage the jar files which we want to use in the project. That means if I want to download the jar file of Spring Framework, instead of manually going to the website uh, and downloading and then importing the jar into the IDE, we can tell Maven what jar file we need and then it will automatically download these jar files for us and update the project. That is why Maven is also called as a dependency management tool. Okay, now to download Spring, we have to add some code inside the pom.xml file we have in the project. So this pom.xml file is like a configuration file where we store all the dependency information we need for our project. Uh, all the jar files we want to download should be configured here. Then Maven will check these dependencies and download them automatically. Now let's open this pom.xml file and right under the properties tag, let's paste this XML code. So this code is uh, declaring the dependencies we want to download in our application. As we want to download the core functionality of the Spring Framework, I will be providing the jar name of Spring Context. So here we have the tags called as group ID and artifact ID. These are the values which are used by Maven to identify a particular jar file we want to download. And lastly, we have the version. So at the time of recording this video, the latest Spring Context jar file is um, at version 5.1.9. Once you have provided these details, Maven automatically download these jar files and if you are using IntelliJ, there will be a small pop-up at the bottom right side corner. Uh, that means IntelliJ is asking us whether to import these dependencies or not. Let's click on the Enable Auto Import so that IntelliJ won't ask for our permission every time we change something inside the pom.xml file. And now if you go to the external libraries section, 
you can see that we have six jar files but uh, we have just asked for one jar file but uh, maven has downloaded the six jar files why because the spring context jar file uses all these other jar files called as spring aop spring beans etc that is why maven has automatically downloaded these jar files so with this we have downloaded spring successfully into the project in the next video we'll see how to use spring and improve the project we have right now if you like this video please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming tutorials and i will see you in the next video